For quadriplegic Malcolm Cameron, his specially modified van meant freedom. That was until an accident and an insurance company refusing to pay out. I just didn't need this, that's all. If you think you're doing it tough this Christmas, spare a thought for Malcolm Cameron. He's battled some pretty tough blows in his life. Yeah, well, yeah. Just trying to go day by day now, so... 24 years ago, this father of two was left a quadriplegic after a backyard pool accident. And then just recently came another hit. He was diagnosed with bowel cancer. Now that I've got been diagnosed with cancer in the bowel, I've, I've got to, um, starting in, in early January, I've got to go to um, chemo once a week for seven and a half months. So. And if that wasn't bad enough, the cruel hand of fate has struck again. His specially modified car was rear-ended by another motorist taking it off the road. Suddenly, his lifeline to a sense of freedom was cut off. His mum just lives up the road. That's what, what Malcolm likes to do most, is go and spend a lot of time with his mum. Just up the road, we drop him off. His carer, Therese, was driving at the time of the crash with Malcolm in the back. I just sort of kept asking him, is he OK? And then he's sort of saying, look, you know, you're OK, Therese, you didn't do anything wrong. Well, my head went back and slammed back into the headrest on the chair and actually snapped it off. Yeah. Uh, and the chair twisted inside the car and went forward a fair bit. Malcolm was taken to hospital while his brother Glenn started dealing with the insurance companies in a bid to get his car repaired in time for Christmas. It was clear to see... It's taken up yeah, well, that's what I don't even think that door's been modified for the for the modification. So you can get a second hand one of those. I didn't think it was going to be that bad, you know. I thought because I went into hospital the next day, and Glenn took over my brother, took over doing the insurance part because I I was in hospital for a week and a half with the bowel operation, and I thought it'd be all sort of all the paperwork and that would be done by the time I got out. Instead, he was greeted with devastating news. The insurance company responsible, the NRMA, and its assessors aren't seeing the case the Canberra family's way. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. I was shocked when the bloke sort of wrote it off without even really looking at it. I said, do you want me to undo the door, you know, so you can have a look at it? Or... And he said, no, mate, I've seen enough. So he said, just um, leave it here and we'll send you a cheque for 9300 You know, I said, it's got a modification on it. It's worth sort of like $20,000 to have put in or 27000 to put in. Like, can't we at least just have a proper look at this to, to, as to repairing it? Malcolm can't afford to buy another modified car. They believe it's not a write-off and are calling on the NRMA to see reason. It's a dispute that's left Malcolm facing the prospect of a heartbreaking Christmas. The temporary replacement van covered by his insurance was taken away today. A very lonely Christmas day is now on the horizon. You won't be going to the family no, Christmas? No, I won't be going, no. Jeez, that's no. pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say, that, I'd say it'd be pretty hard to get a taxi on Christmas Day. But... Every day counts for Malcolm Cameron, and he hopes a big insurance company can show a bit of heart. Who's it worth 9300 to? I mean, it's worth the world to him. Yeah. You know, it's, it's his mobility, his freedom. I just want to get back to where I was, you know. Like, one minute I had a, a van that I could get around in and a wheelchair that I could rely on, and, and now I haven't got either. Things were looking pretty grim, but late this afternoon, Malcolm got some fantastic news. Since we got involved, NRMA Insurance has changed its mind and agreed to pay for a new car and wheelchair to the tune of nearly $50,000, as well as covering the cost of a hire car. And we say good on you, NRMA. That's real Christmas spirit. And if you think you have a problem that we could help you with, send us an email.